Hey everyone, I just wanted to quickly let you know about a new website that I launched called gurugalaxy.com. Here I provide even more tutorials and tools and programs that will help you with your graphic design needs. You can check it out by going to the top right corner of the video and clicking on the eye. Thank you! Today we're going to be learning how to do basic vectors in Adobe Illustrator. Now we'll be using tools that you're familiar with from other programs, but they behave a little bit differently in this program. So we want to so we want to go to the pen tool and we are going to create some lines and see how we can color these and their outlines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a basic shape. I'm going to create a square. So I'm going to click. And you can see it, it really snaps to give you basically perfect straight lines and 90 degree angles. So we have this shape. And if we hit select, deselect, we can see that this shape has a black outline and it has a white fill. Now if we go over here to our foreground and background colors, we can see that white is the fill and black is the stroke. So now let's experiment with these colors. What we're going to do is go up to select all and I'm going to change the fill first. So I'm going to go over here, double click and since it's on purple, change it to purple. As you can see, it filled our shape with purple. Now, this is fun when it comes to the stroke because we can change how big that is as well. So maybe I want to change it to 10 and then we can see it a lot more than we did before. And I want to change the color as well. So we go down here to stroke and we double click it and I'm going to change it to this really light blue. Now if we go back up to select deselect, we can see that we made a shape with a purple fill and a blue outline. Now let's do something a little more complicated. We're going to see if we can just get an outline and if we can just get a shape with a fill and no outline. So I'm going to undo everything that I just did and I'm going to go back to this pen tool. Now I'm also going to teach you how to manipulate this pen tool so we can get different shapes. So as you can see, I'm going to make one point and then I'm going to make another point. And I want to change these anchors here, but when I do that, it just makes another path. So what we have to do, I'm going to undo that. We have to go up here to this white arrow, the direct selection tool. We click that and now we can move these anchors and we can also move well, we can move these handles, my bad, and then we can move the anchors as well. So keep that in mind when you are using the pen tool. It's kind of a two-step process to make a shape that you want. So I'm going to make a curvy shape. To continue this shape, we're going to click on this anchor here. And I'm just going to kind of bend it around. Whoops. And there we go. I'm going to go up to select select and it's just like our other shape. So I'm going to go back to select all and first I'm going to make a shape that has no outline. So we're going to double click the foreground and I'm going to make it green this time. Click OK. As you can see it filled it with green and now to get rid of this outline we go down and only click once on the background and we want to go down here to none. And this is going to get rid of our background and make it, or our outline and make it a transparency. So if we go up to select, deselect, you can see we made a shape with no outline. Now, going back up to select, all, let's get rid of this fill, make it transparent and only have an outline. So it's basically the same process except with the background color. So we're going to go to the background color and then we have to reselect this color box under this main selection. So we click that to let it know we want color again. If I go back to select, deselect, we have another outline. So select all. 
I'm going to make this stroke a little bit bigger, so I'm going to come up here, go up to the weight, put it at 10, so we can see it better. And I want to change the outline to red. And now, we're going to go and only click once on this foreground color, and we're going to go over here and click on None or Transparency. Go to Select, Deselect. So if you exported this and you put it on a web page or another document, you could see the back you could see the document through this shape and you could see this outline. Now these are the basics of vectors. If you want to know more, please let me know and I'd be happy to make more in-depth tutorials. With the knowledge you learned today, you will be able to make basic logos and export vectors and also infinitely scale the shapes that you made in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.